Hi, I'm Dr. Paris from the Paris Vein Clinic. For over 15 years, our clinic has been dedicated to the non-surgical treatment of varicose veins and spider veins, utilizing the latest and minimally invasive techniques, such as endovenous laser ablation, ultrasound guided sclerotherapy, and medical grade glue. Varicose veins are large, bulgy surface veins in the lower leg. They have valves in them which have stopped working, causing blood to leak back into them and stagnate. This lack of circulation causes the veins to swell and protrude and may result in aching, heaviness and throbbing in the legs. Eventually the blood may leak towards your ankles and into the skin of the lower leg, causing swelling, thickening and staining of the skin and eventually ulceration. There is no one single cause for varicose veins, but instead there are multiple factors working in unison to bring varicose veins to the surface. We now know that in up to 80% of patients, there is a strong genetic component to varicose vein disease, with the condition being inherited from both the mother and the father's side. Another cause for varicose veins relates to embryonic development, with persistent vein networks and damaged or absent valves contributing to a large portion of the abnormal veins we see in practice. Factors which may exacerbate varicose veins include long periods of sedentary activity, such as prolonged standing at work, multiple pregnancies, use of the oral contraceptive pill, and trauma. Symptoms of varicose veins will vary according to the severity of the underlying condition. Some patients will experience aching or throbbing in the affected leg, particularly at the end of a long day or in heat, heaviness or tiredness in the legs, or even restless leg syndrome. As the problem progresses, some patients may experience swelling in the legs, itchiness over the affected veins, and even skin pigmentation or discoloration. In a large number of cases, particularly early in the disease process, there may be no symptoms at all. Aside from the progressive changes seen with varicose veins, there is also a slightly higher risk of developing a clot in the leg, known as a deep vein thrombosis. In some cases, varicose veins that are close to the surface can rupture and bleed, and may in severe cases lead to leg ulcers. If you suffer from any of the symptoms of varicose veins, it is recommended that you seek advice from a doctor who specialises in the assessment and management of varicose veins, and is part of a larger multidisciplinary team. They will be able to assess the severity of your varicose vein disease and advise the appropriate treatment for you.